So the idea was to bring all three composers together on the same CD, Robert Schumann, Clara Schumann, Johannes Brahms, for obvious reasons, for the reasons that um, tied them to each other during their lifetime, for the reason that they were each an inspiration to the other for their uh, composing, for their life. <laughs> Every time we play together, I think we both feel that, that there's, there's a, a deeper understanding, more precise communication happening. I think the piece is love, it's not about love, and that's the thing about you know Schumann and his music, um, where everything is felt so intensely, everything is, is really lived as a matter of uh, life or death, you know, where all of a sudden um, imagination, fantasies become reality, they influence reality, and there's no colliding, there's no crashing when the two meet because one transforms the other, and that's really always what his music has, has um, you know, meant to me. It's a very poetic sonata. It's a very unusual sonata. If you look at, at the structural, so this first movement, the second movement, there isn't really a slow movement. There was supposed to be one, but it was dropped. And so you have this very long, um, you know, fairly slow-paced, sort of probably equivalent to you know, a heartbeat. It's actually the first chamber music work that Brahms ever wrote. And it's interesting, it should be just for cello. It was a very special experience to, to work with Helen doing this sonata. She has this kind of fresh, uh, spontaneous approach and very emotional. For a pianist who hasn't worked so much with singers, to suddenly record with a singer is, it can't be easy, I would imagine, but she, she's very, very quick, so, you know, I, I said, uh, I'm sorry, I have to breathe, so could you just give me a little time? And she said, I know, I know. interesting fact about these uh, songs is that they um, they came to be as um, a gift from one to the other. Um, both Robert and Clara worked on songs, chose some, some poems, some texts, and wrote the music to those texts for, as a gift to each other with the idea that it would actually be published as one cycle and people wouldn't know who wrote what. <laughs> 